So we're heading the lake right now. We got the club classic going on. So we got six clubs within, I don't know, maybe an hour or two from Orville competing. I know it's a Paradise Bass Club, everyone's hosting it. We got Orville Bass Masters. I think Outlaw Bass Club is here. Um, I know there's at least one or two more clubs competing. It's like 36 boats. So we got some buddies fishing this thing. So I wanna go check it out and see how everybody's doing. Right now it's fall, fishing on Lake Orville. My guess is somebody probably busted between 13 and 15 pounds. That's that's probably gonna be first place bag. And then, you know, there's gonna be a few 12 pound bags and then some tens and it'll probably just drop from there. But you know, I got a, got a good feeling. Hopefully some of our Orville Bassmaster uh, teammates or team members you know did well but you know we got a lot of a lot of friends that are fishing from, from every club so want to wish everybody luck and you know i want to go check out this way and see how everybody did it's been a lot of fun the last few months we've been fishing shasta quite a bit the last few years and you know finally made it happen you know we fished that new gen pro-am toc and i got it done we got first place ended up winning a sixty thousand dollar ranger bass boat uh you know, fishing out of the new Triton, his first tournament uh, thing. And since it was a Triton, we got Triton gold money, 8,000 from that. So it's just, you know, one tournament can absolutely change your life. So it's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's been kind of nice. We took a little break, went to Vegas, got some fun time in with the wife, spent some vacation. One, one tournament last week, we get the, the Phil's prop team tournament. Uh, we got seventh, fish that with my buddy Chang Zhang. So a lot has been going on, you know, just filling orders, you know, and just staying busy in the shop. We came out with this new finesse A rig, so that's been really, really keeping me busy. But next year's looking, looking good. We got quite a few tournaments that are coming out on the north, you know, in Northern California. We'll be fishing those. Of, of course, we're gonna be fishing those new gen pro ams. Might fish a few band pro ams. We'll see. Um, one bass, they're coming to Shasta in January, so I'll definitely be fishing that. So we got a lot on the horizon. I might, I might fish a few MLFs, um, you know, so we just got to keep, keep grinding. Still getting my butt in the gym and, you know, trying to lose weight and just, you know, stay in shape. And at this point, just, uh, you know, try to enjoy life. You know, it's been a big life change over the last two years and it's, uh, down 100 plus pounds and just trying to trying to keep this off and you know just get in better shape so we'll we'll uh check out some of these fish at the scales huh How's it going, man? Good. Yeah, it was. I just came out to really test my trim relay. I've had a little problem with my trim relay, but I went out there, cast the line a couple of times. You still some, biting out there? Yeah. It was slow, but I did find a couple two pounders, so that was a plus. Better than yeah. I did last week, I guess. <laughs> oh, yeah. So you fished the Future Pro last week, right? Yeah. How'd you do on that one? We took nine with uh, just under 10 pounds. It took 13 to win it, and I think second place had 11. So it was a big difference between first to second, but yeah. Was it uh, fishing about boats, the same? I think. Fishing about the same uh, yeah. last week? Yeah, Pretty I similar. think so. Fall yeah. patterns? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How deep? Uh, no, I did both. Today was deeper. Today it was deeper, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Man, you get out of here, man. I've just been in the shop so much, man. I haven't had yeah. enough time to busy. go out and play. Busy, busy. Yeah. Well, it's good seeing you, brother. Let's yep, see how these too. people do. Yeah. Only got a few. Yeah. So what happened? You'll see you in just a second. Yeah, if you want to leave those gloves up here for him, I don't think you need gloves to hand out bags. Eight pounds even. Eight pounds even. All right, we got our first two pound bag. 10 07. 10 07. Atta boy. Yep. Yeah. 
There we are. There you go. You got a two and a half in there? Yeah. We're going to win big fish? Yeah. All right, big fish. 280. 280. You know what? I think it's a spot. Bye bye. New leader, 11.33, David Kemp. New leader, 1167 with a 307 big fish. Awesome. You got a three pounder in there? Nope. Nope. All right. They are all alive. Five of them. How you doing? Nice fish. Oh, look at that bag. Yeah. Okay. Burrow Bassmaster getting way in big fish. This is a nice new big fish. 414, 414. Checking for weights. <laughs> it's not a walleye, it's all good. Nice bag of fish, fellas. Take your bag out. Nice bag of fish. Yeah, we got a new leader. 1340. 1340. Nice bag of fish, fellas. We got Team Crane right here. How'd you guys day go? Love you guys. Ended up 962. Um, a big fish. South drone jigs. Cranking and a little jerking. Um, yeah, couldn't find the pounders though. So it is what it is. We did most of the catching today. Austin. <laughs> Absolutely. He was backseating me bad. Oh, no, I wasn't. You guys are always slaying them. You guys just came off a Trinity Club tournament last yep. week. Yeah. Got second now. Got second there with 17 something. So, yeah. Good solid. time. Yeah. Good stuff. It's always a pleasure seeing you guys, man. You see you the next one. Morganson and Dennis. $144. The hats were donated by uh, Red Bluff Outdoors. They were very kind in giving every angler their $30 gift certificate. Uh, they also donated this mega bass rod. Uh, so they were very generous with their sponsorship. Okay, second place at 1210 goes to Red Bluff Team One. Jeremy Johnson and Mike Gorman with 260. And first place again goes to Oroville uh, with a weight of 13.40, Team 5, Eric Boyd and Mike. They win $360. I have got a truckload of stuff. I couldn't go through all of it. Hopefully you can use some of it. If you can't, give it to the first kid you see and let him have it because Don would have wanted to see that happen. The Don Randy Scholarship Fund was started when he passed away. We decided to do something with the money that was left for the high school teams that he ran up here in Orville. Um, he did one through the Peak County Office of Education when they decided to start a team. So we actually run the scholarship through there. Um, last year we had $1,000, so we gave away a $1,000 scholarship. Obviously this year it's going to be much more. So we'll probably give away two or three scholarships. So thank you very much, you guys, for this. This is amazing. That's why my wife and I came out and helped you guys. Congratulations, and uh, I'm blown away. Thank you.
it's pretty cool. We got two over two thousand dollars in scholarship. Just from the raffles. All right, so we got the first place winners. I'm gonna let them introduce themselves. I'll have them tell you a little bit about their day, how they caught their fish, they sacked them up. Eric Boyd. Mike Osborne. So who did most of the catching today? Uh, it was 50-50. I say it's 50-50. Okay. So starting out your day, how, how'd, it, how'd it go? Uh, it was a little rough. We thought we actually had a battery problem right out the gate and we got out of the wind and it turned out it warmed up or something and started working. So about 8.20, we got to a good spot and kind of never looked back till nine. We had a limit at that point at 11, probably like 11.02 by nine o'clock in the morning. At about 11 pounds by then. Yeah, Oof. yeah. So. And then got a kicker. So, so when did you get the kicker? Probably about 12. It just, we found another shady side with a lot of, lot of chunk rock and seen one little hole that was, you can see these rocks in between. There was like a deep hole and I threw your air rig right in there, bashing your air rig right in there. Smacked her up. As you can see, this big boil come out of there. It was awesome. Oh. Then it was fighting on, man. That was it. That is so freaking awesome, man. So, the Orville Club overall won it? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we won it over. Yep. Nice. Man. Got it back. I guess they didn't win last year, but they said they got the plaque back this year. Heck yeah. Well, good job, guys. Well, thank you, thank Joe. Thank you, Joe. Awesome job. And uh, it's also always a pleasure seeing you guys. Uh, you Hi, too. <laughs> we missed the second place, guys, but we got the third place team right here, and you might recognize them. Rodney Jorgensen. Dennis Wilson. What'd you end up with? Well, we got a check for $1,000 overall for winning the Classic as a team. So we'll be distributing this at our meeting. Um, so that was kind of cool. And then we took third place out of, I don't know how, how many people were there? 36 boats. 36 boats. 36 boats. 66 boats, 36 boats. And then we got another check for 144. Yep. So. Uh, it was brutal out there though. It was tough fishing. So it wasn't just easy. I mean, we were throwing every bit of junk we had to just try to get, get some bites, but we finally figured out a pretty good pattern where they were at um, and then just started picking them up. But uh, overall, it was tough fishing out there. How That's many pretty, fish you, uh, did you guys get in the boat today? Probably 25. Somewhere around there, yeah. Yeah, so, I mean, that, for Oroville, that's like low. <laughs> usually it's like 75, 100, you know. But usually the, the, the bigger ones, you know, you don't catch. But we actually caught a few big ones today, so, or good ones, not big. But. Well, three pounds is good enough for me. Yeah, two, three pounders, so that was pretty good. So we think as far as uh, for next year, because since Club One, you, got, you guys got to host it now, right? We hosted it last year, <laughs> now we got to do it. Or, yeah. yeah. So we're looking for a new we're president because I'm the current president. So we're going to so, nominate a Roscoe. Oh, yeah. Boy. So Joe, hey. Good luck with that. Yeah, he's all, good luck with that. Uh, no, nah, but uh, we'll try to do something similar. Try to get all the same people and maybe, you know, get something going for it. Um, this was actually really nice. They did a really great job compared to what we had last year. You know, the I think it was four clubs that we had show up. Mm. So, yeah, it was pretty small. Hey, Bouvier family, man, they killed it. Yeah, yeah, it was really nice. It looked like a major event. So it was pretty cool. We were just happy to take third. Well, congratulations, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. Well, that's it. You know, this is kind of, this is the home pond right here at Lake Orville. And it was kind of cool to, you know, get to see some old friends and just see how everybody's doing. And, you know, congratulations, Orville Bassmasters. You guys won the tournament. Um, got first, a third, and I missed Dave Hill and Kent Porter. I think they got fourth from the Paradise Club. But uh, yeah, no, it was an awesome turnout. Thanks again to the Bouvier family. You guys run a great event and uh, everybody that helped out. So hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. We'll see you in the next one.